whip Lamar Jackson's ass. Lamar looks nervous. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. Welcome to Afternoon's Delight. So, and Chris Jericho came out there, man. <laughs> and he and this was right before his match against Cole Cabana for the ROA Championship. And he was talking about how he could beat anybody up. And so we had somebody there, man. So they were in Baltimore last night. And Baltimore had a really good crowd, by the way. Oh, well, you know, Baltimore is traditionally a good wrestling city anyways. Pro wrestling city. And we had none other than Baltimore Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson in the crowd. So Chris Jericho did a really cool thing. He's he 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 even said he said in his his promo he said I'll even whip Lamar Jackson's ass. <laughs> and Lamar Jackson was laughing hard as hell. He had his face down and everything. He, was, he I knew that had to be a cool moment for Lamar. I don't know if they had that plan because sometimes. The athletes get a chance to meet the wrestlers either before or after the show. I don't know. But I love it when, you know, even when celebrities don't work or athletes don't work with, you know, like we have, Rick, obviously Rick Ross was working with AEW because he did that promo with Swerve and Keith Lee. But, you know, like with Trina as well. But it's cool, though, like when, when every now and then you get those celebrity interactions, even Jay Cargill shutting down Bow Wow. Who wanted who wanted her or whatever? I'll talk about that later in the dip, in that in that particular video. It's just cool to see that stuff, man. It's just cool to see that. I do have something that I did want to see that they did not do though. Why or oh, why? And I was just asking about this two weeks ago. So y'all know how Britt Baker they they've been incorporating the whole AFC North into AEW. So. Y'all know how Britt Baker's a hardcore Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Always wears the gear sometimes. And she'll wear and she and she was wear the gear and talk about the Browns and the Bengals. She just recently talked about the Bengals a couple of weeks ago. AFC rival AFC North rival divisions. Pittsburgh's biggest rival of the over the past 20 to 25 years has been the Baltimore Ravens, right? And Lamar Jackson is there. Why isn't Britt Baker coming out with her Pittsburgh Steelers jersey to get all sorts of heat from the crowd? It teases Lamar Jackson. She could have had so many jokes about Lamar Jackson not getting it done in the playoffs to get heat. Why was this not done? She could have talked dead in his face about the Ravens' struggles with Lamar Jackson in the playoffs. Like, why didn't they have her do that? Like, Tony Khan, you got to think, man. Lamar Jackson is there. Britt Baker should have been doing a promo anyways in the Steelers jersey. You know what I mean? She should have been coming out there in the Steelers jersey, cutting a hot promo, get some heat. I mean, not that she needs to get any further. I mean, she's already over, but it's just, come on, man. Because they've never had her do that segment in Baltimore. Like, they haven't they haven't done it yet. You know, where she's put the Steelers jersey. They've only done it in Cleveland and Cincinnati so far. Have her do it. I will also have her do it in a city like Dallas, where they, where the Steelers used to have a rich history with the Steelers. Maybe, shoot, you could have had her do it in Boston next week. You know, the Patriots have always had that sort of rivalry with the Steelers. I mean, I would love to see her do it more often than outside of just Cleveland and Cincinnati. Like, please have her do it in Baltimore next time. I, I beg y'all, beg y'all. The next time she comes, next time she comes to Baltimore, have her tease them. But. I think they lost their opportunity because Lamar Jackson was actually in the crowd. She had a chance to uh, verbally attack Lamar Jackson while he was there. Why not do it? Why not do it? Why not do it? All right. <laughs> Enough of me. Uh, go ahead and get this video like, man. Hit the like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments y'all got, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. I much appreciate it. Or you can hit up my cash app. The cash tag is on the screen right now. Dollar sign sack of change. You can send any donation there. But yeah, man, I, I would have loved to have seen that with Brick Baker. But that was still a cool segment from Jericho to, to Lamar Jackson. Uh, I know Lamar Jackson, that, that, that's going to be a memory for the rest of his life. I'm glad they had him there. I'm glad they had him there. It looked like he was having a good time. Because they showed him like early in the night too. Um, it looked like he had his teammates around him and stuff like that. So, um uh, Good luck to the Ravens. They got Rokon Smith right now, the next Ray Lewis <laughs> for Baltimore. Let's see what happens, man. I'm a huge football fan, so uh, I want to see that game on, what's that, Monday uh, against the Saints on Monday Night Football against Raw. 
Let's see that, man. Thank y'all for watching. Shout out to the Ravens fans watching the video. And all of the AFC North teams, man, if you watch this video. Thank y'all for watching. Afternoons to light.